hey cousins i heard you wanted to learn how to make tofu chicken tenders so <laughs> you came to the right place um these were so freaking good y'all like i just came up with this recipe one day bomb okay so don't mind one nail being done i start shooting another video for how to do nails and then i got hungry so i was like why not shoot this okay so you're gonna need vegetable broth for this recipe nutritional yeast seasonal pepper adobo baby some mike Lowry's lari seasoning y'all and extra firm tofu because you want that firm chicken like texture if that makes sense so i'm gonna cut the tofu all open i'm gonna pat it because gotta make it tender it's like no i'm just extra y'all you gotta slice it into nice thin even slices and then after that you're gonna cut it um in a horizontal like way i think that's horizontal yeah that's horizontal no that's vertical i'm going to season it with some basil this is seasonal some sprinkles of smoked paprika some adobe and i don't have a specific amount i just eye it because i've been using seasons for so long so just a couple sprinkles so for the batter you're going to use flour i'm going to add some lares to the batter some seasonal some smoked paprika, some basil, just a couple sprinkles. And then we're gonna add some vegetable broth. A couple sprinkles of nutritional yeast. And you wanna mix it into the batter looks like so. And then you're gonna dip the tofu on both sides into the batter. Nice and evenly, y'all, nice and even. Then I'm gonna get my panko breadcrumbs. And then I want to add some Mrs. Dash to these breadcrumbs to add a little bit of a little bit of flavor. Okay. And then I'm going to mix that all together. And then I'm going to dip my tofu slices, cutlets, whatever you want to call it, into the batter evenly. Like you gotta roll around, roll the tofu around, all crazy, y'all. Don't forget to get the ends, y'all, because you don't want ends to be without breadcrumbs, because that would just be wild. Now I place the tofu on an oiled baking sheet. I use olive oil and I put my oven on 400 degrees. I let the tenders stay in the oven until they were golden brown and I did flip them occasionally on each side. And this is how it came out y'all. Simple, delicious, and vegan. Please subscribe to my channel and comment down below y'all. I want to know how y'all like these, how these turned out, and even if y'all will be willing to try these. Like always, stay poppin'. Love you.